Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Um, today I am working with all this stuff here that you see I have. I want to make a um, craft paint holder for all of my chalk paints, acrylic paints, and whatnot here. Um, I've just been storing them in like these little plastic containers and it's really a pain to dig through so I figured it would be nice if I can make something here that I can set up, um, you know, where I can just look and just grab it out of there when I need it. So what I'm going to use is I'm going to use eight of these crates. Now it depends on how much paint you have. I have a ton of this stuff that I've collected over the last few years so you may not need this many um, but I am going to do these um, four high and I'm going to put another four on the other side of these. Um, we're going to be using these wooden dowels. I'm going to use five of these wooden dowels and I'll show you what these are going to be for here in a second. I already cut some. They cut very easy. I measured these at five and a half inches it fits in here and I'm going to be gluing on five of these. I'm going to be gluing one of these little sticks in here. That way, this one's a real tight fit. That way when you put your paints in it kind of gives it a little tilt so you don't have to worry about them getting bumped out or falling out. Um, and then for these other paints I'm not going to be using this stick in for the other three because I'm going to be using these for these other, uh, these are all two ounce bottles of uh, paint, either it's Craft Smart, Folk Art, whatever, they're all the two ounce bottles. And for these I'm just going to be just sticking these in here like that and then you, I don't think they're going to come out whatsoever. So I'm not going to put one of those dowels in there for that. But these dowels are really easy to cut. I just want to show you guys, I just took a pair of wire cutters and I just went around it a few times and just gave it a few good squeezes and then it just pops off and then you just got to sand that end down a little bit and then there you have your dowel for in here on the bottom and that one fit real nice too so that's what I'm doing with the dowels so for mine I'm going to need five let's see all right two four five those are right there and those are just the crafter square wooden dowels they're the uh, quarter inch by 12 inches long and then you're going to need some wood glue. So I'm going to be using the wood glue from the Dollar Tree. I've used it before. It works pretty well. And then I'm going to be using two of these pallets that I'm going to actually put on the bottom. And I think it'll make this thing a little bit more stable so it, you don't have to worry about it tipping. So I'm going to be using two of those. And I'm going to need one of my little sponge brushes. These also came from the Dollar Tree. And now I just wanted to stain everything, uh, make it a nice color, but I don't like using regular stain just because it smells so bad. So I'm just going to be using some of this burnt, sien burnt sienna color. It's the folk art acrylic paint. And I'm just going to add a little bit of water to it. So I'm going to squeeze some of this out here. And I'm going to use quite a lot of it because I'm going to be doing all this stuff. So I'm probably going to squeeze about half of that out of here right now. And then I'm going to add water to it, and there's no exact measurement on the water. Um, you just kind of got to see as you go how thin it is. You don't want it to be thick because we're going to use this just like a stain, and it works just as well, and you just don't end up with that smell. So you just don't want it to be thick like a paint. You want it to be really thin because we're going to sponge this on, and then we're going to wipe the majority off with a paper towel or a rag or whatever you want to use there just so it's sort of like a little bit thicker than water but you can kind of tell I just keep pouring until it seems to be about right it still might be just a little bit thick so let me just put a little bit more water in here <clears throat> and I think that should be good so I'm not going to make you guys watch me stain all these things because you guys get the gist on how I'm going to do this. But I will just show you one thing here that I'm going to do. And I'm going to stain everything. I'm going to stain the dowels and these little pallets. And I did sand them off a little bit. Um, all of these had just, just a tiny bit of a rough edge around them. Not much. It didn't take anything at all. I just took a little piece of sandpaper and went around these edges to make them a little bit more smooth. And... Um, yeah, that wasn't hard at all. So, this is what I'm going to do. I might need a paper towel here to show you. And I always get messy when I do this, but I don't care. It washes right off because, you know, it's not stained. So, I'm just going to dip your sponge brush in there, and I don't have my other paper here. 
where is my, let me get a piece of scrap paper here. So I don't slop this all over everything right now while I'm trying to show you guys real quick. Now this one I didn't even bother sanding because the only thing you're going to see is this edge here and here when you're finished. But if you want to do that, you can go ahead and do that. So that's all we're going to do. We're just going to smear this on here and try to get it down in between. Whoops. Just get everything covered real good. And then by the time you get done going down here like to the bottom one, then you just want to go back and start wiping it off. And then it comes out. i got to move this. i got to clean my desk off here to finish these. Um, you're just going to take your rag and then just wipe it down. And it looks just like a really nice wood stain. And I like this color. I thought this color would be pretty cool. And then after this all dries, I'm actually going to coat it with a clear spray paint. Um, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. But I just think it's going to protect it a little bit more if I happen to get you know, some other paint or something on it, it's not going to be easy to clean up. So I figured if I put a nice clear spray, you could just use clear spray paint. You can get that really cheap at Walmart or whatever, but I just happen to have this. I've used this a lot, and there's still quite a bit in here. But I just want to give it a good coating. That way, if I do happen to spill some other color paint on it, it's not going to soak in the wood, and I'll be able to wipe it right off. So let me go ahead and finish staining up all these things, um, and then we'll come back, and I'll show you how I'm going to put this together. Okay, these are all dry now. I have all eight of those painted, and my dowels, and my two little uh, flat thing. What do I want to call these little palette-like things that are going to go on the bottom? So now we got to start gluing this together. So I'm just going to take the wood glue, and I'm just going to glue these four together because it's all pretty much going to be the same. You don't want to put the glue too close to the edge, so you know you'll have less chance of it oozing out. But I am going to put a good amount on here. And then we're going to set these down and put them together like so and try to get them nice and even, you know, as even as you can, because some of these aren't exactly um, perfect, but they're, they're pretty good. They're not too bad. So you just want to make sure you have your edges even. Now I have these clips. I got these in the crafter square section, and I'm actually going to use these to hold these together. But uh, if you can't find those, Dollar Tree also has these little clips usually or just any kind of clip that you might have. I just want to um, make sure that that holds that together nice and even. So then I'm just going to start putting my other ones on here. I'm just going to put a couple good lines of this wood glue on here. Like that. And then on this side I'm going to put a little glue here too. Like so. And then we're just going to line these up. And it just makes it a lot easier if you have these clips that you can keep these in place. And now when you're using the wood glue instead of like hot glue, hot glue. I think would just dry too quickly or cool too quickly and you wouldn't be able to get these um, aligned exactly how you wanted to but if you know if that's all you have you can always try it with the hot glue too but I do think that this um, wood glue is going to hold it much better and keep it nice and even here and that's that for this one all right, I think that looks pretty good. If you have any glue that's coming out, just kind of wipe that off real quick. You just want to make sure all your edges are nice and even. There we go. Before you let that glue dry. All right, so now I'm going to grab the other four here. I can just set that one aside. And we'll just take these and glue them together. nice and flat. This is the fun part, just getting this thing to all come together nice. 
And then the same thing on this one. And we'll glue here. And then some on the side of this, this one. set these four together. And you want to make sure that this one's nice and straight here because this is going to be the top. side seems good. I try to say some of these are not perfect in size, but if you kind of work with them here a little bit, you can get them together nice. There, so we want to keep that nice and flat there for the top. Now the only thing we have to do is take this one here that I had marked for the bottom and we're just going to put glue on top of here and glue these two sections together. And that is it for this part. I get to find me one more clip. Let's see if I have one in the drawer before I go. I wonder if this will work. Oh, I do have this clip. Okay. Apparently, I have one of these I'm going to use too. I thought I had enough clips, but I'm just short on one here. good. So I'm just going to put that clip right on there just to hold that a little bit. All right, and the top here, let me raise this up. Sorry, I don't mean to shake you around, but this came out nice and smooth here on the top. So that will work out good. So if you want to set something on the top of this when you're done too, you can do that. All right, so let me move this over here. And we're just going to let that dry. I don't know what this says here. Let me see. Um... It says let dry 24 hours. Uh, so we will do that. It says 30 minutes. I guess we can work with this after about an hour. But for it to be completely dry, it says 24 hours. But it says press pieces firmly together for 30 minutes and remove extra glue. So. We're going to just let that sit there for a couple hours, and I think that'll be okay. Now for these, I'm just going to glue these edges together. Not that I even necessarily have to. I think it's just going to be easier to um, put it together when we're done here. So we're just going to glue those down. And then i got glue all over me. Oops. It's not quite as important, but I just want to make sure it's nice and flat. So we're just going to let that sit. Because that is going to be our base for this whole thing. Just I just think it'll just give it a little extra so you don't have to worry about it tipping over or anything like that. Because just like this, it's kind of wobbly. But once you put it on this base, it's going to give it you know, a good foundation so it won't tip over. And then we have to insert our um, little dowels. So as soon as this dries, I will be back and we will finish putting this together. Alright, it's been a few hours. Everything's glued together pretty good. I'm not going to yank on it too much so I can give it the 24 hours to really, a piece of glue on here, uh, to really dry well. 
but it's you know stable enough now that I can finish working with it. So now I'm going to take this whole thing and I'm going to glue it onto this base here that I had glued together and <clears throat> I'm just going to put glue on these center ones because I don't want it to um, lose out the front or the back on this. And I think this will be just fine. So now I'm just going to pick up this whole thing here and hopefully I will get this centered nicely. And that looks pretty good right there. Actually, I'm going to take my little ruler here because I really want this to be nice and even in the front. And I am just going to measure this. Oh, it's like maybe half inch and a half inch so that looks good right there and the sides look pretty good oops and now I just moved it all right let's make sure we got it here again and we've got about a quarter inch over there and a quarter inch over here so that is perfect I am just going to leave that alone now Let me just double check this um, oh, if I turn this the right way half inch and half inch. All right. So now that's just going to sit down like that there and dry. <clears throat> so now I want to put in my dowels. I'm not putting any dowels in the bottom here because if you put the, if you want to use these little jars or if you have these little jars, I mean, it doesn't, you know, matter. Um, but I have a whole bunch of these, so these won't fit in here if I put the little dowel on here. So I'm going to leave these three with no dowel, and then. The, the rest of them I'm going to attach a little dowel right here on the edge. And the reason for that is to keep our paint just so it's on a little bit of an angle and then you won't have to worry about them sliding out or falling out or anything. So I am going to use um, the wood glue and I'm also going to use a little dot of hot glue because my clamps won't fit over that to hold it. So I figure if I put a little dot of hot glue maybe in the center here just to hold it in place for me until this uh, wood glue dries. <clears throat> and I do that on a lot of different things. A lot of people ask me, you know, if they have to use both glues, and you don't. But I just find this easier for me uh, to use it as like a little clamp. So there we go. I just want that in there right like that. So hopefully my hot glue See, it keeps that nice in place for me while the wood glue's drying for a few hours. So I'm not going to put any here, so I'm going to put another one up here. And I'm just going to put a little line of glue here. And it, whoops, a little too much glue there. Um, it won't take much to hold these little dowels in. And then I'm just going to put a dot of the hot glue to hold this baby in place, and there we go. Oh, that one was a nice snug fit. Perfect. All right. So let me just do another one over here, and then I'll finish the top too. I don't think you guys can even see that anyway without me moving my camera. But it's the same thing. I'm not doing anything different. Um, and then that is pretty much it. I'm just going to take it out after this dries and put on a coat of the um, clear spray, the um, triple thick crystal clear glaze from Cryon. I can never remember what it's called. There we go. And that one looks a little warped. I need to roll it here. Whoops, I need to redo this one. It just has a little bit of a warp in it. <clears throat> so it's going to kind of have to roll over this way a little bit more, I think. Hmm. Let's see, if I had a clamp that would fit in here, that would hold that down. No, nope. you know what? I'm not going to use that one. I will have to get me another one here. Make sure none of these other ones warped on me. 
All right, let's put a different one in here. I don't like the way that one was laying there. I don't want it sticking up. I want it all to look nice and flat. So let's put a little bit more wood glue here because I rubbed most of it off. And then a little bit of the hot glue. And there we go. That one's better. It's still warped a little bit. All right, so I think I got all these in here nice now. This one's going to stay. Um, I actually don't even think it's a dowel that's warped. I think it's actually um, part of this little crate here because all the dowels seem to lay fine in all the other boxes, just this one. So that is pretty much it on about putting this together. So I am going to let this dry, and then I'm going to take it outside and give it a couple, I don't know, one or two coats. We'll see. Um, probably two, I would say, uh, of the uh, clear glaze, and then I'm going to fill this up with my paint and I'll give you guys a nice shot and see how it turned out. Alright, it's all dry now. It's all done. I'm so happy with this. Um, it actually holds 55 bottles of paint the way I have it. Depends on how you want to set it up if you have those other, you know, these rounder ones down here. I have 15 of those in here and then I have um, 40 of the other two ounce sizes. And these are the uh, chalk paints that I have here. And get back in there. There you go. And up here I have all my acrylic paints, chalk paints, and these are my chalk paints down here. So um, I did measure it. It stands about 14 and a half inches tall. It's 11 and a half and three quarters inch wide, and then the depth on the boxes is two and three quarters. But if you want to count the base, that would make it four inches wide at the bottom. So it's a decent size, um, holds a lot of paint. It's not going to take up a lot of room, and you have your little um, like little handles here on the side. So if you want to just pick this whole thing up and take it wherever you're crafting, you could do that too. So I'm really pleased with how it turned out. And then on the top, you can set some things up there. I wouldn't put anything super heavy on top of it because, you know, these aren't the thickest of crates, but they're not bad. They're very sturdy. And of course, you know, when you put them together, it's all doubled, so it makes it a lot more sturdy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this project. Um, yeah, I've been wanting to do this for a while. I just couldn't find the crates, and I was so happy to find them last week at the Dollar Tree. So... Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, maybe it'll give you an idea. Like I said, you don't have to make it this tall, you, depending on how many paints you have, or you can make it even bigger. I wouldn't go much taller, but you could definitely make it wider. But I hope everybody has a wonderful day. I will see you guys all next time.